Hi guys, welcome to Dakes Gaming. Today I'm going to cover everything you need to know about Dev Shield and what sets it apart from almost every other shotgun out there. Spoiler alert, it's absolutely beautiful. If you're new to the game, it is likely you've never heard of this weapon before and don't know anything about it or why it is the best shotgun in the game. Is this incredibly sexy shotgun just for show or is it a master creation and a must have for any class? Let's find out. First things first, let's talk about how good it is for combat. This will be most applicable to you if you're a trickster or a devastator. As you will see in this clip, the range is incredible. Whether you are close or long distance, there is no spread of bullets and it is very compact. This is absolutely incredible if you're a shotgun only person and are looking to take out enemies like birds or strix. They are incredibly annoying and hard to kill, especially in the higher tiers of the game, but may also be a pain on the lower tiers too. So what makes this weapon so overpowered? There is a mod called Fortress. This mod is fantastic for many reasons. Now what you'll notice is that you will get up to a 43% damage bonus based on your armour, with the maximum benefit coming from around 35k armour. However, this has been tested and the actual optimal armor is around 48.5k where you'll see the drop off in damage which could well leave you with an empty mod spot. If you're using a mod which will boost your armor, it may be worthwhile rethinking what mod you want to use unless you're having issues with survivability. Having something along the lines of personal space which is a tier 2 mod which would give you a 15% boost to close range weapon damage would be far more beneficial than using another tier 2 mod called Damage Absorber. There are a few mods which really make this weapon overpowered if you're running a Anomaly Bullet build. These are Perpetua Mobile and Ultimate Bleeding Bullets. However, this will require you to have a tier 2 mod called Vampiric Mag to recover your ammo as you get killing shots on enemies. Perpetuum Mobile is what I use because it completely replenishes the mag after getting a kill at 35% or less ammo. Overall, I rate this weapon so highly that I cannot take it off. Once you get one as well, I'm positive that you will feel the same way. This may be a bug because it clearly says weapon damage, but it also applies to your anomaly based skills too, making this a top tier weapon for all classes, even if you are not using anomaly bullet skills. I would give it a 10 out of 10. There is not much that can be desired from this weapon. If by some chance you get super lucky and get two, break one down and try it on different weapons. If you've tried this already, let me know in the comments how this has worked out for you and what combination you've paired it with. I'd be really interested to hear your feedback. Hopefully this gives you all the information that you will need on this incredible weapon. If you have it, I imagine you have already experienced its sheer awesomeness. If not, this should be your number one on your priority list. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. Please remember to rate the video and subscribe for more content. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.